Yes, thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How can I help you today? Yeah, hello, I just called, but we got disconnected. I don't know what happened there, but uh, yeah, I'm returning your call. Okay, and when did you receive this call? Uh, about an hour ago. Okay, and did you receive any case ID number along with the call? Uh, no, I did not. It uh, cut out halfway through the call. Okay, and may I know with whom I'm speaking with so that I can pull out your information? Uh, yeah, this is William. W-I-L-L-I-A-M and the last name is Waters. W-A-T-E-R-S. Can you please spell out your last name? Waters. W-A-T-E-R-S. Hello. Okay, William. Yes. Okay. Just verify me the last four of your social security number. Uh, the last four is eight seven four two. Nine seven four two. No, eight seven four two. Sorry, eight, eight four two. Seven four two. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Eight seven four two. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So William, this call was regards to your social security number, which has been found suspicious for some fraudulent activity in the state of Texas. So are you aware of it, William? Well no. So William, did you receive any call from your local sheriff department regarding this case? Uh, no, should I? Hello? Okay, William. Yes, I'm here. Yes. Just grab a pen and a paper handy so that I can provide you some important information about your case. Okay, give me one second. Okay, go ahead. Note down my name. My name is Alex Cooper. Alex Cooper. With my federal batch ID is SSA15. Okay, so William, the investigation started when we found an abandoned car in the south border of Texas, and the car was Toyota Corolla. With some drugs and blood residues inside it. Okay, and after investigation, we found that the car was rented in the owning and your social security number. So, William, do you have any knowledge about the fraudulent activity before? Well, I can say I didn't do any of that. I don't know where all this came from, but I didn't do that. Sorry? I didn't do any of that. I, I don't know how this happened, but I, I don't know anything about any of this. So, William, as you are appealing me on this recorded line that you are not the one who is misusing your information, am I right? Well, why would I misuse my own information? I'm not doing that. Okay, so William, it might be possible that you are a victim of identity theft. I believe you know what is identity theft, right? Uh, if you could explain that, I, I don't know. Maybe someone is using your information towards this fraudulent activity, William. So well, we it's definitely not me. Real culprit who is misusing... Sorry? Well, it's definitely not me, so yeah, obviously someone is. Okay. So we need to find a real culprit who is misusing your information, okay? So, okay. William, now I will ask you some few general questions regarding your case to verify the fake assets and the real assets, okay? So try to be very right clear from your mind. Is that okay, William? Okay, go ahead. Okay, so William, as I told you that we found more than three addresses linked with your social security number, and we are not able to verify that which address belongs to you. So, can you please help me with your current mailing address? Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm in Crestview. Uh, is, do you, are any of the addresses in Crestview, Florida? Sorry? Well, do you have any addresses in Crestview, Florida? No. Okay, well, that's where I'm residing. Okay, can you please help me with your current mailing address? Oh, okay. Uh, 321 West Woodruff Avenue. 321 West? Woodruff Avenue. Okay, and what's the zip code? 
32536. Okay, so as I told you, William, that we found more than 6 to 7 different bank accounts created in your name. So do you hold 6 to 7 different bank accounts? I've got, uh, got three bank accounts. You have only three bank accounts? Yeah. Okay, so can you please tell me the name of the bank which you bank with? Okay, uh, I'm a city bank. Uh, what uh, banks are these accounts held in? You bank with Citibank. Yeah, I bank with Citibank, but uh, what banks are these uh, these accounts, these six or seven accounts? What banks are they with? It's of all banks of America, US Bank, Wells Fargo Bank, TD Bank, and many more. Okay, so can you please tell me the name of uh, you have a saving account or it's a checking account in your city bank? Uh, well, I've got a savings and a check. Okay, can you please tell me the approximate amount you hold in your saving account? Uh, that's kind of personal information. No, just uh, just tell me the approximate amount. I'm not telling you to tell me the exact amount. As I told well, you that thousands of dollars have been wired internationally and locally to narco profiting country. So the okay. investigation is going on. So just let me know the name. Can you please tell me the approximate amount you hold in your saving account or in your checking account? Okay, well, why do you need to actually know this information? Sorry? Why do you need to know this information? As I told you that thousands of dollars has been wired internationally and locally to narco profiting country. Okay? So we need to find out that you deal with thousands of dollars or not. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I've transferred money before, but not huge amounts of money. Like uh, probably about six hundred dollars I've transferred uh, internationally before, and that was when I purchased something. That was a couple of years yeah, ago. Yeah. So I'm asking about. So we need to see that. Okay. We need to see in your banking statement. Can you please tell me the name of the bank? Uh, you told me the name of the bank is Citibank. And That's can you correct. tell me the amount you hold in your saving and checking account? Oh, okay, well, the savings has about $11,000. Okay. So, as I told you that we found Toyota Corolla in the south border of Texas, rented under your name. So, do you hold a car under your name? Yeah, I got a car, but it's not a Toyota, uh, what'd you say, Toyota Corolla? Yes, Toyota Corolla. Uh, no, I don't own one of those, no. Okay. And who is it rented through? Well, as I told you, as I told you that this is a case of drug trafficking and money laundering. So you can't carry more than $50 cash with you, okay? So make okay. sure that you don't carry... What, in my wallet or in the safe downstairs? Which... Like liquid cash, how much liquid cash do you have with you? Well, I don't have any liquid cash. I've never heard of that. No, just tell me the approximate amount you hold in your cash. Okay, so do you want the amount of cash in my wallet or do you want the amount of cash in the safe downstairs? Which one? In in your wallet. In my wallet, okay. Hold on, let me just count it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I've got $470 cash in my wallet. Okay. So the number which you're calling me, is your cell phone number or it's an online phone? Uh, it's a cell phone number. It's your cell phone number, okay? So, William, now I'm done with my asset verification form, okay? And now what I will do is, I will transfer your call to my senior investigation officer. And he gonna explain to you more about the case in detail, okay? Okay, well, I've got some questions. Call, I got some questions. Yes. Okay, the question is, uh, you said it was a Toyota Corolla that was rented. Like, who is the rental car company? We will give you the, all the information, okay? Because I'm not the one who is working on your case file, okay? Oh. So now I'm transferring your call to the investigation officer. Who is working on your case file, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, so just hold the line.
Before transferring your call, can you please re-verify me the details which I have provided to you? What, all of them? Okay, can you please verify me the last four of your social security number again? Oh, okay. I thought you'd written all this down. It's uh, 8742. Yes, hold the line. I will connect you to my senior investigation office, okay? Okay. Hello? Yeah, hello. Yeah, thank you for holding the line. This is the senior chief investigation officer from the Drug and Enforcement Administration. My name is Officer William McManus. Am I talking to William Waters? You are. Uh, how do you spell McManus? How are you doing today, Mr. Waters? Oh, oh very well, thanks. But how do you spell McManus? You said your name is William McManus. What's how do you spell that? I'm writing this down. Exactly, sir. And what and department I are you? I work with the San Antonio. I work with the San Antonio Police Department. With the DEA. And oh, right okay. Now, why your case has so, are you the police department or are you the DEA? usually I'm working with the police department but right now as we have received a case related to the drug trafficking and your case is in my desk okay is the reason I'm involved in this case okay so Mr. Waters first of all let me yeah let me tell you this there are two legal charges on your name first is for money laundering and the second one is for drug trafficking in the state of Texas so, do you want to say something about this? Well, if you could explain what this means, I, I don't know what money laundering is. So can you tell me what that is, please? All right. So, I'll just go ahead with your case once again. So, you should understand each and everything. Actually, this investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas. Actually, there was a car which was lying on the street from last 15 to 20 days okay. on the south border of Texas. And that car was Toyota Corolla with the VIN number TX7862. And the locals reported about this car to be suspicious. And they informed it to the team of 911. And okay. when the team of 911 arrived, when the team of 911 arrived at the location along with the K9, they started investigation in the car. And okay. after the investigation, they found that this car was rented under your name and under your social security number. Plus, this car has two addresses linked with it. The first address which belongs from the city of San Antonio, Texas. And the second address which belongs from the El Paso, Texas. Okay. So when we, re yeah, when we recovered this address which is uh, linked with the vehicle, so we tried to raid this address. But unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. Right, okay. But we have recovered was been transferred and as these transactions are completely suspicious to us so that is the reason the social security department has so how much did you say was transferred 96,000 96,000 wow hello I can't hear you. Hello? Oh, here we go. Hello? Yeah, this is Officer William McManus once again. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I couldn't hear you for a while. Just the line went dead. Could you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Where are you right now? I'm at home. Okay. So, right right now, uh, I told you that I was telling you that there is a transaction of $96,756. Yeah. was being transferred to the countries like Mexico and Colombia. And okay. And these transactions are completely suspicious to us. So that is the reason the Social Security Department has filed a case on your name for money laundering as well. 
and even right now we have got an orders to suspend your current social security number on an immediate basis now okay. mr waters do you want to say something about this well i could say i didn't do that but the original question i had was what is money laundering i don't understand what money laundering is is that if you transfer money or what, what does it mean exactly 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 sir the money laundering case is on your name just because uh, there has been an illegal transaction of huge amount which has been sent to the narco trafficking countries the colombia and mexico these countries are the narco trafficking countries okay so money laundering is if you transfer large amounts of money or is it if you transfer it to narco countries which which is it sir whenever you transfer a huge amount of funds at a time oh okay without knowing your bank guys yeah without knowing your bank guys or if you are sending your money to any illegal places oh okay right you okay well like i haven't done so any you, of that see you can minimum first of all your bank guys gives you a limit of like $2000 $3000 $4000 just for the security purposes Oh, okay well i haven't transferred that much yeah uh, the most i've ever transferred was six hundred dollars yeah even mr waters like if you have a business with you and if you have a good business and if you have a business account on your name then too you are not able to transfer an amount of ninety seven thousand dollars at a time oh okay if this transaction yeah if this transactions are divided into like four to five parts like fifteen thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars, then there is no issue because you have that much of limit where you can make the transactions of something like. Sorry, I'm sneezing. Yeah, okay. So you're allowed to do yeah. So you're allowed to do uh, no, fifteen thousand dollars. I got you. Hold on. Hold on. I got you, sir. Hold on. Okay. I got you. Hold on. What do you mean? What am I holding on for? Hello. I can't hear you again. So can you tell me who is be sitting beside you? Uh my cat. Uh, I can hear a lot of background noise. Well, I my can cats. hear a lot of background noise. Okay, my cat sitting next to, to me. No, my cat sitting next to me. I talk to my cat sometimes, but okay. he's just sitting here. So right now, sir, uh, the courthouse is taking a decision. The courthouse, the senior officers from the courthouse they are taking a strict action by shutting down each and every bank account which has been linked with your current social security number and this process may also include your bank accounts and whatever the funds you have in your bank accounts might get seized and freeze for an unknown period of time okay so why would you freeze my accounts okay. i don't understand why you'd freeze my accounts Hello. Hello. Yeah, I don't understand why you'd freeze my accounts. Why yeah. wouldn't you just freeze the bad accounts? I'll tell you, sir. Just because uh, we have got an orders to suspend your current social security number on an immediate basis, and at the moment your current social security number is linked with your bank accounts. So as soon as we will suspend your current social security number, automatically you will be losing the access of your bank accounts. Your passports, your driving license, and if you have any payments to come in your bank account, there will be a problem in the payments. Oh, okay. So and you're you saying I should probably go to the bank and withdraw my money out and uh, bring it home, put it in the safe, right? No, sir. You cannot withdraw the funds from your bank account at the moment. Why not? There is a money laundering case on your name. Yeah, but if I didn't transfer. I didn't transfer huge amounts. Uh, to other countries 
Mm -hmm. I do understand your point, Mr. Water. But uh, right now, see, uh, if you'll go to your bank and if you will withdraw an amount of like $11,000 or $2,900, so you will be having a lot of cash with you. And right now, already you are facing with a money laundering case on your name. And it is going to be more suspicious, like if you will withdraw the funds from the bank and keep it with you. It is going to be suspicious just because the government will not be having any kind of records. Once okay. you withdraw the funds from your bank account, once you withdraw the funds from your bank account, then after this, what you did, that is the main concern for us. Because we have to verify each and every of your information and we have to make sure that you are not the one who is involved in any such criminal activities. And if we found you in this, then there will be a penalty of $82,000 to $83,000 and an imprisonment of up to three years. So uh, whatever you say, you have, to, yeah, you have to be very honest over this call just because this is a federally recorded and monitored conversation. Okay. So right now, see, as we are putting uh, blocks, uh, we are suspending your current social security number on an immediate basis. So once we will suspend your current social security number, you won't be having any access to your personal information, which has been linked with your current socials. And whatever the funds you have in your bank account, each and every of your funds are going to be verified by the government then only all your funds, all your bank accounts are going to be released. Okay. So I don't. So right. You know, I don't understand most of this. Like, so. sir, even I don't understand this. Sir, so even I don't understand this. Sir, so even I don't understand this. But the senior officers from the courthouse. They have the good knowledge about this and they know what to do properly and what they can do their best to stop these activities from your name. Whatever the senior attorneys are going to do from the courthouse, that is going to be in your court. Okay. If you are not the one who is involved if you are not the one who is involved in any such criminal activities. You getting my point? Yeah, well, I didn't do any of this, so that's why I don't understand why all this court stuff's happening and why, you know, why my social has been suspended and my bank account's frozen. It all just seems kind of crazy to mm -hmm. me. So, sir, first of all, can you tell me, did you lost your wallet or did you lost your social security card recently in the past? Or have you provided your social security number to anyone while applying for a loan? or while applying for a mortgage or anything like that? Well, I've lost my wallet before, but it didn't have my social security card in it. But, and yeah, I have applied, I have applied for jobs uh, and had to put that details here. Yeah. And have you ever applied for the credit cards? Or yeah, for of course. Loans and all? Yeah, of course. Okay. And how long it has been that you have applied for the loan well, the last loan I applied for was probably uh, maybe 12, oh, 15, about 15 years ago when I uh, got the loan for the house. Okay, it has been a long time. So I'm talking about recently. Uh, none recently, no. And did you find any suspicious activities on your bank account? Like someone was trying to pull out the funds from your bank without your knowledge? Not that I'm aware of. Like, I, I looked, at my, uh, looked at my balances before on the tablet and they're all there. Okay. So right now, sir, uh, if you have any payments to pay or if you have any bills to pay for this month, as we are going to suspend your current social security along with your bank accounts. So do you have any payments coming on your name or where you have to pay any payments? Yeah, the, the payments come out of my bank account automatically. Okay, and what is the amount you are supposed to pay towards your bill? Well, there's lots of bills that come. There's like the utility bill, the uh, car payment bills, the you know Netflix bill, you know, 
like lots of stuff keeps coming out of there. I, I can't keep track of half of it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so once again, sir, what I have to do right now, as per the conversation which I had with you, uh, in regards to the same, I have to speak with the senior officers from the courthouse. And I have to make them aware about the recent development on this case. And I have to even update them that you are not the one who is involved in any such criminal activities. And you okay. are just being a victim of identity theft. So, okay. Mr. Waters, uh, with the all deep respect, can I put your call on hold for some time? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Just be patient and hold the line. Make okay. sure this line should not get disconnected. To get back well, to you. I hope it doesn't. It did before. It's like weird, but okay, I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hello? Yeah, hello. Hello, Mr. Waters. Yeah, I'm here. Yes, thank you for... Yeah, thank you for holding the line. This is the Senior Chief Investigation Officer, once again, William McManus. Okay. Uh, let me know your zip code. Uh, the zip code is 32536. 33536. No, 32536. Didn't the guy note this down before? Yes, sir. 32536. That's correct. Uh, so, I cannot see any kind of uh, government registered stores uh, nearby you or convenient to you. Yeah, it's only a small little just town, these. Uh, just give me a moment. Sir, I okay. can see uh, there, are a lot of, there are a lot of small stores uh, there nearby you, like Dollar General, uh, Safeco, CVS, Dollar Tree. Yeah, we've got those, yeah. Uh, so, do you know uh, Win Dixie? Win Dixie? Um, I can see a store in Dixie. I don't know that one. The um, the wife does most of the shopping. I'm, you know, I'm not too familiar with these shops. Okay. Uh, do you know uh, the Walgreens? Uh, Walgreens, I think I've seen it. I know where Walmart is, definitely. That's, uh, that's on the main road, uh, like, d down the centre of town. So, I know where Walgreens, oh, but I don't think you do Walmart, do you? Um, Sir, so, uh, I believe uh, the government bonds are not available in the Walmart. I think so, best of my knowledge. Okay, well, uh, that's just one of the stores I know, because... It's a big store, it's like a uh, super centre, and they've got like a hotel room there as well. Uh, like, I forgot what, what it's called, but there's a hotel, there's a big, massive Walmart there. Okay, sir, uh, let me speak to the Walmart guys from your place. Right now, let me check with them if they have any kind of government bonds in the store or not. Yeah, sure, okay. Just hold on, sir. Yeah, once you get inside the car, you have to blow the horn first. Okay, I can do that. I don't know why, but all right. <laughs> That's loud inside the garage, my gosh. Okay, so now... So what, what are now you doing have now? To start I, driving to work. Yeah, I now. feel like an idiot blasting that on. Yeah, you're laughing on me, motherfucker. What's that? You are laughing on me. I I I feel like an idiot blasting the car horn in the garage. I bet the neighbors are going to be staring at me now. Listen, 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 listen to me very carefully. Listen to me very carefully. Listen to me very carefully. See, we are well trained for this, okay? And we are 16 stations ahead than you. You fucking piece of a shit. I feel I feel like to I, I feel like to throw a shit on your face, mother. Why are you saying that? Uh, you won't get your money there. No, no, no. I want to rob your money. You didn't give me your money. That is the reason I'm abusing you, mother. Yeah, well, I'm not going to give you money because you're you're a little uh, little tryhard scammer sitting in India. Sir, we took all your money. Sir, we 
and listen. We took all your money. Just check out your bank accounts. Are you, are you really that stupid? Are you really? Are you really that stupid, man? Hey, Muhammad, did you get the money? Yeah. Hey, Muhammad, did you? yes. Okay, salam walikum, yeah. sir. Salam <laughs> walikum. How about I blast the car horn again? Hold on, we'll uh, we'll get the car horn going. You ready? Hold on. Salam walikum, Allah wabarak. Yeah. How's that? Did you like the car horn? Was that good for you? Oh, give it up, man. I'm going to throw a bomb, gonna throw a bomb inside your house. you throw a bomb Hello? in my house? You don't even know where I live, man. Hello? Ha, bolo na. Hello? 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 Anything else to say? Yes, sir. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Really? We are going to kill you, mother. You're going to kill me? Of your house. Oh no, don't do that. My, my, boys, my, my, boys, my boys are standing to kill you. Oh, don't say that. 